we're gonna start with using our ruler because we're gonna be making a cityscape just really just a fancy word for a city landscape because it's a picture of the outside and we're gonna definitely be you definitely want your ruler and a pencil so you can erase I'm using this marker so you can kind of see what I'm doing better but so uh, hopefully that doesn't go wrong so we're gonna start by making our horizon line at the bottom and just holding my marker down to make a nice straight line with this ruler Then we're gonna make some buildings and our buildings are gonna be we're gonna start with rectangles because most buildings are rectangles. Sometimes a building is something, it's like a crazy shape, it's round or an octagon, but that's kind of rare. Move my keyboard out of the way. So I'm gonna start by lining up that zero on my ruler. So this line down here is always gonna be your imaginary zero. And I wanna make one building that's four inches tall I'll move my ruler over and I'm gonna make another line. I can even make a little mark, a little tick mark at four inches so I know that's how tall it's gonna be. I'm gonna connect it. How tall your buildings are is really gonna depend on how big your paper is. I have a pretty big paper here, but you might have a small notebook. So you might not be able to do like I am and you might not be able to make a building that's six inches tall. That's okay, everyone's buildings can be different. It would be very boring if everything was all the same. Slide it on over. I'm gonna mark my six line. Connect the top. I like using a ruler for things like buildings because when you look at buildings in real life, all the edges are straight. Because if you had walls that are not straight in your building, you would kind of have a big problem. So let's make at least three buildings. And this one, uh, I'm gonna make a short fat one so I can really fill up my paper. This one is three inches tall. Mark three, my zero. And connect the dots. Next, we're going to add the, deep, the windows to the building. So when we're adding windows, there's some different ways we can do it. Your windows can, can really be either squares or rectangles. Not all windows are gonna be squares or rectangles, but let's not get too crazy. I guess if you wanted round windows in one, that would be okay. That would be kind of cool for a building. So I'm gonna start with my short fat one. And then I'm gonna make some squares. I'm gonna make sure I'm going in a nice line So I started with the, this horizontal line of windows up top, and now I'm gonna make a line going down. And now, so I have my column. So we wanna make sure that we have the correct number of windows, because if you look at a building, you're not gonna have like some crazy town number of, windows where there's not like a line of windows going across because people wouldn't pay for that real estate because big buildings you see in the city are always rented out by different companies. So let's figure out how many windows we're gonna have. So we have six going across and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven going down. So how can I figure out how many more windows I need to draw or how many windows this building's gonna have all together. So I guess what I can do is I can just keep filling it in and then I can count at the end. But I think that you guys probably know an easier way to figure that out. So let's fill them in and I know I have to do six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, six, and my bottom ones. So we could do some different things. We could do skip counting. We could count the columns or the rows. We can count by twos. 
there's lots of different ways. But what I think, how I think I'm going to figure it out is I know that there are six in my rows and seven in my columns. So I'm going to make this into a problem like this. I know that if you were watching me in real time, someone would be yelling the answer at me. So I know that I have 42 windows on this building. So now let's give it a roof. To give something a roof, this is the easiest way. I'm just gonna put a circle up here. And then let's connect the dots. And that is gonna be our step one.